Hello Pisces and welcome to your September 2019 forecast. Today we'll be channeling through some messages from Spirit. We'll be doing some cards, validation and validation on the energies and the planets and what's happening for you this month. And I would like to say a big thank you to all the people who have shown support to my channel and subscribed and liked and left beautiful comments. I thank you very much. I greatly appreciate all the support that you've given me. So let's see what we've got in store for you this month, Pisces. Now, Pisces, there is a lot going on with you this month. Um, about deep intimacy in relationships and the focus this month for you is all about how you look at all relationships okay so it's going to be big it's going to be a big one okay you're going to look at what's working and what's not okay what do you want um is what i want to say pisces because you are about to have a very big shift okay in your life major shift it's huge and as i'm looking at all the information here as well as channeling through information there's a lot to get through so first of all i just want to make note here that you have sun mars venus virgo we're in virgo season we were in leo season we had all this creativity, ideas, confidence, self-confidence shining out in the world. And now we're bringing that, all those planets through into Virgo. It's in Virgo season. And now we have got Virgo giving you a plan, strategy, okay, going over details, being practical, being logical. Virgo likes to perfect their plan. Okay, don't go too far into perfectionism, okay, um, this month, uh, but certainly have a plan and a strategy without going overboard um, in what you want. Okay, it's time to get serious now. Um, we've also got a lot of, um, you've got the sun and mercury. Now, the sun brings us energy and power and enthusiasm. The sun's good. And also mercury's communication. So we, the universe is going to tell you how to navigate your, your relationship. So what do I mean by that? It means listen to your intuition. The universe will tell you if something's blocked, don't push it. If, if you're trying um, to communicate with someone and you're not getting it back, then you need to, the universe is trying to tell you the signs, okay? This month, it's up for you to listen. Okay, now, um, and there is a big energy the first three weeks of the month, and this is quite important. We have the Sun, Mars, Venus in Virgo for the first three weeks. So I want you to be very mindful of others giving you unsolicited advice or criticism. It's up to you whether you listen to them or don't listen to them. Okay, but I'd be very mindful of that, particularly, mo I know the first three weeks is most of September, but there's going to be some very critical um, energy around you or people, places and situations, and also advice that is not quite right. Okay, so just be wary of all that. Um, also, we have for you, Pisces, we have... Um, Venus opposes Neptune, so there's going to be confusing confusion around feelings, okay? And I think the confusion is there's no major action. So if you've started something or started to see someone or you've put some effort and work into plans or strategies or trying to get something moving, there is going to be this confusion feeling like, is this not right? Is, is this not happening? Because there is no major action for you. And don't make any major decisions the first three weeks, okay? Just go with the flow, um, have plans, have strategies, go over them, perfect them, get them right, because Virgo does like to do things properly, okay? Um, and 
focus and reflect on what you need to get done. So sometimes we're in the, I want this, I want that, I wanna make this happen and make this happen. But Virgo is gonna come in and make you focus on what you need to get done. So there's a big difference there, Pisces, okay? Um, and then around the 18th, so the 6th, from the 6th to the 18th, you actually will feel like you're achieving some goals, okay? And by the 18th, um, Saturn's moving forward, Saturn in Capricorn. So um, that is a big moment for all of us. And you will be seeing some goals come into fruition or slowly start to move forward because Saturn's a slow moving planet. Now, the 18th is also important as we have Saturn going direct in Capricorn. So we have had a major life. Saturn's our master, our teacher. He gets us to master something in our life or our journey or our direction or, or um, something major. It could be a life purpose, could be a life path, could be a soul calling. And it's big, okay? It's like we've been in a certain direction or path and Saturn's made you master that. Capricorn comes in and he's the boss as well. He gets down to the nitty gritty and the details and... They come in and they review your itinerary. So imagine you're going on a big journey. Um, you're about to set sail on a trip or a journey or a ship and Saturn's the captain, Capricorn's the first boss and they come down and they look at you and they will tell you what you're taking and what you're not taking. So it's completion of a major cycle. And this completion that we're going through or feeling um, for a lot of us, not all of us, but a lot of us, um, it's not going to happen again this li lifetime. So you won't experience this again this lifetime. This, It's done, okay? Something's done in you. Something you had to master. So this is very big this month. So, and, But Saturn's also about long, slow, building solid foundations, doing things properly in a mastered way. And Virgo's coming in over the top of that for Virgo season. So we've got Virgo season all month. So do things properly and stay grounded, Pisces. I think you do need to do that because around the full moon, around the 14th, we have the Pisces full moon. And we have Neptune in Pisces opposing the sun. So you're going to feel a little exhausted, okay, Pisces, and a little confused and a little in crazy making, crazy making schemes and plans and thinking. Um, so don't get caught up in the Neptune energy. Neptune is all about, um, it, can, it, it puts a bit of a spell on us. Everyone's going to be confused and foggy. People will be telling um, tall stories. There'll be some deception, some false um and misleading information. Um, it, it, it gets us a bit drunk. We feel a bit like when we're drunk and we talk a lot of hoo-ha, okay? That's what Neptune does. And we've got Jupiter with Neptune as well. And Jupiter is expansion. So he's making the stories and the information sound really big and really good and really over the top and really exciting or really exaggerated. So just be mindful, okay? Because there's a little bit of funny um, energy coming around you around that full moon. Um, and it is in your sign, Pisces. So it might make you feel a little crazy. All right. Or maybe people are crazy around you and you're fine. But just be aware of that, okay? It is in Pisces. And, you know, Pisces is all about um, a bit of fantasy, okay? So just keep grounded. That Virgo energy will pull you in and keep you grounded. Um, and, you know... I just feel like saying um, you've got Jupiter square Neptune, um, September the 21st, I think it is. We've got the full moon on the 13th and 14th. We've got the Libra new moon at the end of the month, around the 28th. Um, and Libra is all about relationships. Um, so what's going on here is in all this crazy energy and all these new moons and, and your focus is on deep, intimate relationship. So we have that Libra new moon at the end of the month, which is perfect for you, okay? Um, but a lot of you at that new moon 
will be saying um, in, in a situation, whether it's uh, somewhere you're living or, or relationships or at work or friendships, whatever it is for you. Everybody's different. Everyone has their own individual chart and it will activate wherever it is in the house, in your chart. So wherever you've gone as far as you can go, that's going to hit on the 28th at the end of the month. So you will come to this energy and you're going to sit back and you're going to realize like you're going to hone in on what is wishful thinking and what is actual what real and that's going to be big for you and you are going to be given the insight and the information um, so that you can fix it change it move forward through it um, because what we've got here is some Pluto now Pluto clears the path Pluto gives us a way out Pluto cuts through any illusion any delusion anything that's not true uh, fantasy Pluto will come in if someone's giving false and misleading information Pluto will cut through the games Pluto will cut through anything. It Pluto is, you know, transformation. So, um, but it clears a path for you somehow, Pluto. It brings your hopes, dreams, and wishes to fruition. All right? So that's really good for you. Um, the full moon brings to light that and, and the, your hopes, dreams, and wishes. Pluto comes in and makes it very clear for you. Um and I'm also going to say here that you also need to teach people around the full moon and this energy coming up how to treat you, okay? That's going to be big for you this month, Pisces, teaching people how to treat you. And there's a message here from Spirit, and I feel a lot of Pisces, they're confusing the universe, so when we teach people how to treat us and when we speak to the universe and we're very clear, the universe knows what we want or others know what we want. But there's some confusion here because the, there's a message. Don't confuse the universe. Even as I tuned into this energy today, Pisces, I felt a little confused myself, a little spacey, a little bit off in airy fairyland and I've had to come in and keep regrounding my energy to stay focused so that might be uh, something you need to be aware of this month as well um, around the Libra new moon as well Libra is all about relationships harmony balance win-win um, it, it's really nice energy and it is relationship energy and that is your focus and deep into intimacy in relationship and how you look at all relationships okay so towards the end of the month I feel it's getting better for you um, you will be setting some boundaries around the new moon you'll be teaching people how to treat you you'll also be um, giving and receiving only if it's equal okay there's got to be this equal thing Look, your career, Pisces, seems to be going great. I think you've done all the work for your career. I, I don't think that's going to come into play for you um, until November, December. Then we've got to focus back on career for you. But I'm just pushing that to the side at the moment. I'm not really focused on it here because it seems to be more about relationships for you. Um, now, there is a little thing here. We do have some... It's about the Libra new moon and your emotional needs. We do have Uranus energy coming in here asking for an adjustment. So Pisces, you might do something a certain way, but Uranus comes in and shows you a new way. It shows you new ideas. It, it, it expand, expands you, but it is asking for you to make an adjustment here. So there's something you're doing. You're going to have a lot of revelation around relationships whether they're working for you or not, and what you truly, really want, okay? And I want you to get clear on this and don't confuse the universe because you are having a major, major shift in your life. 
and with that Saturn Capricorn, uh, Saturn in Capricorn moving direct, we have ended and completed and mastered a cycle. So a lot of us will be getting a new cycle. Just be aware of that. You will be dreaming in far off places and avoiding the day to day and not wanting to do the day to day work and challenges. Um, because your head's all up in relationship and, and fantasy and you want to escape all of um, the challenges that the daily routines and everything bring you. So that is going to happen to you a little bit, <laughs> Pisces, particularly around the new moon energy because you, it's all relationships and harmony and, and, um, and wanting all of that anyway at the start of your month as well. So... Um, yes, it is all about love and you and relationships this month. Okay, just remember too, we have an equinox coming in, um, the equinox, and it's a power day. It's a great day to set intentions, okay? It's a great day to get insights and downloads, so just meditate around that day. I think it's around the 18th as well, um, or just after 21st, I think it is, sorry. And um, so... You're going to be building a new foundation and it's all going to be about how you look at all relationships, what you want from relationships, what you don't want from relationships and um, you'll be moving forward into that new, whatever you recreate this month or the new epiphanies, insights, uh, boundaries, teaching people how to treat you you, this will come into fruition, the Libra will be going into October and you'll be moving forward in your new directions more. So in October, and a lot of you in October will be meeting someone new. That's very, very good for you, okay? Couples, you need to go forward and line with, realign with yourselves or with the self within a relationship, okay? But for singles, October, um, Pisces, really good. Could be meeting someone very new or new that is um, really good for you, really solid. Maybe you this new foundation. And I feel like saying it could be something you have not had before. So it's all coming, Pisces. You just um, really do make, to make the effort to make some really big changes in Go into the deeper meaning of what relationship is for you or when you see or want a relationship, how do you view that relationship? Because there may be some, some changes that you need to make there, okay? Um, and... Trust your instincts, your intuition and kind of... Not speak your truth, but be in your truth. Okay, don't make something happen and work for you. Just be in your truth and speak your truth. So the cards, yes, healing, major transformation. This is the healing card. You're going through, um, when we're in a healing, we're not the old you, us, we're not the new us. We're going through a major healing or some people will be having a crisis of healing, you know, a crisis of consciousness in their healing, okay? But you do, and the Tower card, you are getting the Tower card this month, Pisces. So that's that energy where I feel like what, you're going to be given insight into what can be fixed and what can't be fixed, and what's working for you and what is not working for you. And this healing and transformation is going to give you the Tower card you've been waiting for. So whatever you've been waiting for to move through or change or get out of somewhere or change your job, your work, your home, whatever you're doing, wherever you're stuck in a rut, the tower card's going to knock it all down and then you've got the rebirth or the birth card. So you've birthed into something new out from this healing. You've had a healing, the tower moment's happened and I think the focus is going to be mostly around you and relationships. You are going to have a tower moment, whether it's you in a relationship or how you view relationships or the relationships that are around you. You're about to have a, a big tower moment. And when we knock down the tower, we get a new tower. 
So it doesn't matter. And there's the rebirth. There's the birth. The Empress. And she's quite abundant. She's come out of this quite abundantly. Okay? So this is for the better. This isn't, isn't a bad thing. Okay? And look. Traveling or expanding or changing or expanding your horizons, your ideas, you're looking at, you're wanting to move. Some of you will be wanting to move, location, shift or travel or really change your lifestyle there. Okay, and you've got, you finally, Pisces, got the confidence to do it. And see the six cards relationship as well. So you finally found this confidence to go for what you want or surround yourself with what you want, okay? And there's the strength card. You've got it going on. You've got it all back, all coming back. Um, and then towards the end of the month, see, we've got um, opportunities coming in. Someone wants to give to you. Another six card, the nine, your completion absolute completion you're done and you're reviewing everything at the end of the month by the end of the month you are really done with an old way with relationships or how you're doing it or how you're seeing yourself or viewing relationships and you're reviewing it you're really looking at, at a deep change here and it can excuse me, I'll grab a bit of water so whatever your tower moment is, whatever your epiphany, whatever insights are downloaded around the equinox energy around the 21st, I think that is, I want you to pay attention um, because you, someone is going to give you some home truths. I just heard that from spirit. So Pisces, be aware someone's going to give you some home truths. It could be a little harsh for some. But I feel that harshness is in a loving way. Okay? So maybe take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, see, whatever this healing and this half, harsh, harsh truth that comes out um, for you, I think you're gonna, it's actually going to give you what you need. You will actually get what you want. And that healing is going to bring the brand new path. Brand new path, the hand of the divine, the pentacle, the abundance. There is this new path for you, Pisces. You're going through this, this healing, this transformation right now. Then we've got the tower card. You're going to have to work hard. You're going to put in the hard yards. The tower moment comes. You are done. You are going to put in the hard yards to move it on. You're going to make it work. And your rebirth has to, everything has to be in alignment. Whether it's relationship, has to be in alignment with your passions, your desires, the connection that you, you want to feel connection. Or if that was your job or a move or a change for you, your new beginning, your rebirth, your new birth, it has to be in alignment with more passion, more connection. Okay? Um, In saying that, like some of people, sometimes, this is not for all Pisces and it might be for some and not others, okay? Some people view relationships as security and stability. Nothing wrong with that. There's no right or wrong. Um, some, it's all about love and passion and connection. Um, some, it's all of it. But sometimes when we're viewing relationships just be mindful this month that the universe isn't trying to show you or tell you you need to be viewing them in a different way. You've got the confidence to go forward there and there. So you are ready to go. You are ready to leave, expand, change your horizons, travel, whatever it is. You are very confident, very, very confident. And you are confident. And I think the restriction that you've had is undone. I think you're moving. You've got the strength card. Go inward. Use your intuition. Trust your instincts here. You, again, you. this queen does not get up in her head. It is Virgo season. We do have to plan. We do have to strategize. We do have to look at all the details properly. But this queen uses her emotions, her instincts. She doesn't get up in her head because there is some offers coming in for you here. So go inward here, okay? See if it aligns to who you are and your path. And, and then, um, you know, use your intuition. And then you'll put in the practical steps 
It could be the Virgo energy to put it in play and you are reviewing everything and it is, it is a fated, it is a, a like a, a higher calling here. This is a judge or the Hierophant could be the universe or your guides or someone that is making the decision for these two people and here you are reviewing everything. You've kind of grown the crop to its full potential. You're looking at it going, well, what, what, what else can I do to this? What, where, more, how do I get more? How do I go that other level? But I, I think what you've got to let go of here is just change the way you're viewing relationships um, because someone is stepping here in here, like a hot someone, when I mean someone, I mean like the universe or a higher energy here and they will be calling the shots for you anyway, Virgo. So I think you're getting your tower moment anyway. And I actually think a lot of you have been waiting for your tower moment. To be honest, I can hear some clapping from some um, Pisces uh, about a tower moment. Uh, they're waiting. They're like, bring it on. Others may be a little fearful. But you're ready. You're ready to put the past behind you and put in the hard work and make the effort happen, which is great. That's what Virgo will help you come in and do. Put things into action okay um i know i've already said this but the jupiter square neptune please just watch people and talking and exaggeration and manipulation and um they may think they're more something more than they're not than they are or, or they're talking it up you know you're back in control pisces you will be so don't, don't grasp control, it's review, 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 change um, the way you're looking at relationships um, and you're going to get, take your time because you are going to get a huge shift in your life and be patient and tolerant um, of people um, and yourself respect your decisions and when you respect your decisions other people do um some of you are going to put in the hard work to move past an old hurt old pain old relationship blockages uh pains um suffering uh something that's been holding you back you are so ready to put in that work um and it'll, it'll happen fast so whatever's coming in for you, once you have that tower moment and you have a few epiphanies and awakenings this month around the Pisces full moon, the equinox energy, the Libra new moon, it's all towards the end of the month for you. I actually feel the first three weeks for you, um, Pisces, um, is your critical moment of... Um, Others giving you the wrong advice, the wrong information, uh, criticising, um, kind of listen, just kind of listen. And, um, you know, that Virgo energy is supposed to, it, it's kind of got that, you know, energy, well, I want to see action, not words. So, you know, stick with that this month, okay? Your abundance is coming. I feel like your work is fine. I really do. I don't, I don't, I think most of you, it's been all about work and you've got that sorted and you've got that mastered and you've kind of got that set. You don't really need to worry about that till November, December. It's going to be more focused now. You're going to take that, what you did with work and, and that putting that into play and strategizing and getting it out done. You're going to actually do this with relationship now. So your focus on relationship is going to be um, challenging in some ways, but those challenges are going to bring you a tower moment and it's going to change your world and the Nine of Cups. So that's fantastic. I mean, and Nine of Cups, you know, Nine to me is completion. So you are getting a new birth, new beginning, rebirth, nine of cups. 
So um, it's all looking good and you're ready. You are ready to take a new journey, Pisces. The full card is the zero. You've completed a cycle. That's what I believe this month's all about for you, even if it's not coming in, in until October um, for you. Just be patient and, you know, the fool's ready to go on a new journey. He loves a new adventure and he does not have a care in the world. He's not worried. He's not fearful. You know, there's an idea that comes out of the blue. You've got some illusion, delusion and self-sabotage coming up. And there's your confidence. You're going to move forward. There's your tower moment. And now you're going to put everything in place practically. Okay. And... It was all meant to happen, to unblock where you were restricted. And it's going to happen fast. And you, you may move or move on very fast when it does happen. Very fast. And it is the strength card, the expansion, the world, travel, change, move, expanding horizons. And that is your new path. And then you're going to get this deep nurturing. You know, that's the mother card. She looks after the family and nurtures. And, and um, that's what you're looking for. This deep intimacy in a relation. The deep nurturing. The deep love. The deep connection. And you're going to get success. So it's all there for you, Pisces. Um, just, I often get the energy when I read for Pisces. I start to get a little bit all over the place myself. So Pisces, I think please this month, just don't get into fantasy, don't get into other people's fantasies and, and talk because we do have Neptune there. Um, and Neptune is very misleading. Uh, so take day by day and focus on you and work at this slowly, do the satin slow thing. You are completing a cycle, so you don't need to worry about it. It doesn't mean sit back and do nothing, but just know this major Capricorn, satin, satin in Capricorn cycle, the journey you've been on, there is a major ending. It's done. You're going to be done. If you're not, great. But a lot of you will be done. You're going to get the success this month, Pisces. So just relax into it. And it's more towards the end of the month into October. Thank you, Pisces. I will chat to you next month. And thank you for all your support. And hopefully this helps you for through the month of September. Thank you.